Welcome to another live coding session from Pentacle. Today we're going to create a simple static server to serve our HTML, JavaScript, and CSS without any build tools. So in 2016, we have so many build tools available like Webpack, Gulp, Grunt, and they just make uh, things a bit harder for beginner to intermediate level JavaScript developers to enter into the world of the modern day you know, development. So I'm going to attempt to show you how you can do a build um, system without any of these uh, softwares. You can simply use the scripts uh, system that comes with NPM and Node.js. So this tutorial do assume some uh, pre prior experience with Node.js and NPM, but uh, you don't need to know a lot. So I'm going to show you step by step how we can do this. So just a reminder, this is going to be a live coding session, so there's going to be some hiccups, but um, I think it's good so I can show you, you know, how we can debug things if we run into them. So let's get started. We need to create a folder first. And we're going to call this, of, this folder static build server. And then let's go into the folder, and then we can start our project by running npm init. It will ask us a couple of questions. Uh, we're just going to use all the default values. And yes. So now it creates a package JSON file for us. So let's open up the project. So I have the Visual Studio Code command line shortcut to open it up. Great. So we have here, and let's go inside the folder just to be sure. Great. Okay, so we're inside the folder, and here's the package JSON that was generated for us uh, when we did the npm in this script. So let's add some very basic uh, folder structure to this folder. So let's create a. So we're going to use SAS on this project. Uh, you could use less or you know regular CSS, but I just want to show you how we can, you know, compile SAS and JavaScript in this build system. Um, SAS is probably the most widely used uh, CSS preprocessor, so we're going to go with it. So we're going to create a folder called SAS, a folder called JS. Oops, sorry. Uh, make directory SAS JS. So this will create uh, two folders, and then we're going to create a um, a build folder. So this will set out the basic structure of our projects. So inside the build folder, let's create a couple of, uh, let's just create a index file. So this HTML is going to be the, basically whatever is inside the build folder, you can upload it to your server and it will work. So we are going to need a boilerplate for HTML. Usually I like to go to jsbin.com and they have this thing here where you can just copy it, then paste it here, change the name to Pentaco Static Build Server. So this will have a very basic um, you know HTML boilerplate. So we are going to need to add a couple of things. So first, uh, you know, we need a JavaScript file and then a CSS file. First, you can do um, the JavaScript file will be the build JavaScript, and then the CSS will be the built CSS file. So I am going to um, before the closing body tag, we're going to do script source equals. We're going to create this folder later on automatically from our build tool. So this is going to be the name of the file that we are going to use that contains the minified version of all our code. And then as far as JavaScript goes, it's going to you know contain the the same type of thing where it contains the the um, the CSS file for you know for it for our code. So 
I'm too lazy to type, so I'm just going to copy paste this thing here, and then we're going to put CSS style.min.css. So now we set up a very basic um, HTML file for our for our sites. We are going to start working on our server. So we are going to need a couple of tools from npm a couple of node modules so we are going to install them so the tools that we need you can do npmi so you don't have to type npm install by the way you can just do npmi we're gonna need no sas node mon I'll explain what they are in a minute browserify we're going to save them with the dev flag to tell npm that um, that this is the oops I misspelled no sas it's supposed to be no dash sas we're going to tell npm that um, we need these three modules no sas no mon and browserify and then we're going to save it to our package.json under the dev dependencies this is what these that dash save and then dash dev means so if you go into package.json after um, this is done it's going to update this file with the correct definition for all the node modules that we're installing. So a couple of things. No, no SAS is a, no, a CSS to SAS compiler. So you use this module to compile um, your CSS into SAS. No mon is a watch. It's, most people use it for the watch command. Basically, you watch a, a folder. As soon as a file is changed, it will execute a certain command. So it's very useful if you want to set it up. And then browserify, it's it's very it's a uh, it's similar to NoSAS, but you do it for CSS. So it'll find all the C uh, the JavaScript and their dependencies, and then minify them for you and put it in the directory where you specify. So as you can see, our package JSON automatically updated and installed these three modules under dev dependencies. So let's get started with uh, the SAS folder. Let's create a new file and call it main.sass. So main.sass will be the main entryway for our, you know, JavaScript. I mean, sorry, for our CSS. Um, there's something I like to use. Uh, it's called the reset from Eric from uh, Maya Web. So this is like a reset. Uh, CSS style sheet that will reset your HTML page. It's pretty standard practice. So we're going to create a folder inside the SAS folder called vendor. This will be any third-party CSS that we're going to to um, use. Remember, everything needs to be .css as an extension, and the underscore here is just a convention. So you need to prefix all your SAS file with underscores so the processor knows uh, how to get them. So let's inside of our SAS, uh, reset.sas, I'm just going to paste what I found on their website and press save. And then we're going to import the, so I'm, I like to always denote a section for vendors. So we need to import the reset for uh, SAS file. So we do import vendor reset. So this will import the vendor uh, SAS file. 